next soft of the humerus soft of the humerus it is placed in between the upper end and the lower end the soft of the humerus na soft of the humerus it has a three borders and three surfaces there is a first the anterior border anterior border anterior border it begins anterior border it begins at the level of the anterior border of the greater tubercle of the humerus and it descends downwards and it extends up to the lower end and this is called by the anterior border and here and it starts at the inferior part of the this uh, greater tubercle anterior border and it descends downwards and it extends up to the up to the lower end of the humerus so this one is a anterior border once again this anterior border it begins at the lower aspect of the and the lower aspect of the greater tubercle of the humerus and it descends downwards in the middle it is a prominent and it extends up to the up to the lower end so and this is the anterior border this is the anterior anterior border anterior border and this one is a this one it is a lateral border so this lateral border you see here the lateral border it begins in the posterior aspect and in the upper one upper one third it is not a prominent and it begins at the level of the posterior aspect of the this uh, uh, greater tubercle and it descends downwards descends downwards and uh, in the lower one third it is a very prominent and here it is called by the lateral supracandular line and this border also it extends up to the up to the lower end of the humerus lateral border lateral border it begins at the posterior side posterior aspect of the greater tubercle it descends downwards in the lower one third and it is a very prominent here it is called by the lateral supracandular line lateral lateral supra candular candular line lateral supracandular line and it begins in the lateral aspect then there is a medial border medial border it begins just lateral to the and this lesser tubercle of the humerus and it descends downwards and it is a very prominent in the very prominent in the lower one third of the humerus and here it is called by the medial supracandular line and it also extends up to the lower end of the humerus and again <coughs> and these borders and the divides the surfaces you see in between the anterior border and this one is a anterior border in between the anterior border and the medial border this is the lateral border lateral border and this one is a medial border medial border in between the medial border medial border and the anterior border this is the anterior anterior border in between the medial anterior border and medial border and this surface is called by the medial surface in see in the in this ball this is the medial border and anterior border and here there is a medial surface is there this one is a medial surface or otherwise it is called by the anterior medial surface 
anterior median surface is present in between the anterior border and the medial border. Here this is a anterior border and this one is a medial border and this surface and you know, this surface is formed by the anterior anterior medial medial surface anterior medial surface so there is an anterior lateral surface is there so anterior lateral surface is present in between the anterior border and the lateral border in between the anterior border of the soft of the humerus and the lateral border of the soft of the humerus and here there is a <coughs> anterior lateral surface is there and this one is a anterior lateral surface here this one is a called by the anterior anterior lateral lateral surface anterior lateral surface once again <coughs> the soft it has a three borders and three surfaces and three borders and this one is called by the anterior border anterior border it begins at the lower aspect of the or, or otherwise it is called by the lateral limb of the intertubercular surface and it descends downwards and it extends up to the lower end of the humerus and there is a medial surface is there medial surface that not that much of a prominent you know, that much of the prominent in the upper aspect but it begins at the lower aspect, the lower aspect of the lesser tubercular of the humerus and it descends downwards it is a very prominent in the lower one third and here it is called by the lateral supracandular line it also extends up to the lower end of the humerus and there is a lateral and a anterior lateral surface is there anterior lateral surface or anterior border I'm sorry this lateral border and it begins at the posterior aspect this is a greater tubercle and it here it is a posterior aspect and it begins at the level of the posterior aspect of the greater tubercle of the humerus it is descends downwards and it also very prominent in the lower one third of the humerus and here it is called by the lateral supracandular line and it extends up to the lower end of the humerus so in between the anterior border next is the surfaces there is an anterior medial surface this is the anterior medial surface this one is the anterior lateral surface and this one is called by the posterior surface and here there is a anterior <coughs> anterior medial surface anterior medial surface is present in between the anterior border and the medial border of the humerus this is the anterior medial surface and here there is a anterior medial surface is a this one it is the anterior border and the medial border and this surface is called by the anterior medial surface the anterior lateral surface it is present in between in between the bunker. 